Since the original Mortal Kombat, we have witnessed a mixture of brutal, gruesome and even bizarre moments with a pinch of humor to produce the best fighting game ever. But besides the fatalities which are Mortal Kombat's most notable feature, there are other priceless moments that fans will always remember. In this list, we're counting down the most shocking moments in Mortal Kombat. Remember Edenia, mother. Remember your rule before Shao Kahn's invasion. Quiet, child. It is time for you to join your friends. <laughs> Number 10. The Champion's Last Breath Liu Kang is considered by many to be the face of Mortal Kombat and the champion of Earthrealm, thanks to his exceptional performance in the first tournament which saved the universe. But when Shao Kahn's forces invaded Earthrealm, they wreaked havoc and killed many of its defenders including Liu Kang's love interest Kitana. Angered by the deaths of his friends and allies, Liu Kang split with Raiden over how to respond to the invasion. During a disagreement between them, Liu Kang was accidentally killed by Raiden's energy blast a scene that was never expected by any Mortal Kombat fan to ever happen. No. This was not meant to happen. Number 9. Cabal's Misfortune uh, I'm hideous. Cabal really has one of the most tragic stories in Mortal Kombat. According to his storyline, Cabal is a reformed criminal who turned a police officer and fought to restore safety to Earthrealm along with his partner Curtis Stryker. While on duty, Cabal was caught off guard when Kintaro's burning flames disfigured his entire body including his face. While Stryker was dealing with other outworld invaders, Cabal was found by the leader of the Black Dragon Kano who provided him with respirators and a face mask. It didn't take Cabal long to figure out that Kano, along with his allies from Outworld, were the ones truly responsible for his misfortune in the first place. That's why he immediately turned against them and rejoined the Earthrealm Warriors. Wait, you're the lightning guy. You help Stryker. Stryker, is he- He is safe. He has joined us in the fight against Shao Kahn. We would welcome your aid also. Number 8, Onaga's Grand Deception. I deceived you into bringing me the means of attaining ultimate mastery over reality. The story starts with a young Shijinko who was approached by an ethereal spirit entity that called itself Damashi. Damashi claimed to be an agent of the Elder Gods, who was tasked with finding a mortal who had the courage and potential strength to collect all the Kami Dogo from the six realms. Shijinko, then only a child, eagerly accepted and it took him over four decades to complete the quest only to discover that Damashi was in reality Onaga, the Dragon King who possessed an undefeatable army of undead warriors. Consequently, Shujinko assumed full responsibility and embarked on a desperate quest to destroy Onaga before he finds the secret amulet. I was the fool who brought him this power. Only I can destroy this threat. Number 7. Kitana's Rude Awakening How could you? My own father! I am your emperor! For decades, Kitana loyally served their father Shao Kahn in his never-ending quest to conquer the realms. With her closest friend Jade, Kitana enforced his brutal will. But at the same time, she's always had a feeling that the life she had known was a deception. To find out the truth for herself, she dared go into the only place she was forbidden to visit, Shang Tsung's Flesh Pits. Within the Flesh Pits, Kitana finds a newly created body clone of herself. Immediately, she realizes that the whole project was carried out to replace her as the Princess of Outworld, since she posed a great threat to Shao Kahn's reign. Return to the flesh pits. Bring me my daughter. Melina. Number 6. The Ling Kuei Cyber Initiative You actually did it. You're a cyborg. We are the Ling Kuei. More stealthful than the night. More deadly than the dawn. With the forces of Outworld and the Netherrealm united, Shao Kahn and his allies initiate a full-scale invasion against Earth to merge the two realms. As a response to this threat, the Grandmaster of Lin Kuei decides to launch a project that would provide all his fellow ninjas with the necessary tools and strength to withstand the invasion. He decides to turn all his ninjas into cyborgs. 
This controversial decision was not approved by all clan members and as a result, it sparked a surprising division within the Lin Kuei which turned out to be one of the most outstanding rivalries in Mortal Kombat. Warning. Project Hydro Fatality. Excellent. Number 5. Noob Saibot's Return It is I, Quan Chi restored me. Noob Saibot's real name is Bihan. The original Sub-Zero that was killed at the hands of Scorpion who accused him of murdering his family and clan. After the emergence of his brother Kwai Liang who also adopted the name Sub-Zero, nobody expected to see Bihan ever again. However, to everyone's surprise, Bihan came back to life as a faithful servant to Quan Chi and the Netherrealm. Number 4. Quan Chi's End Scorpion, we can <laughs> Quan Chi is the kind of villain that anybody would hate thanks to his manipulative and deceptive nature. After all, he's the one responsible for pretty much all that is evil in Mortal Kombat, including Shao Kahn's invasion of Earthrealm, Onaga's return, and the revival of revenant versions of many Earthrealm warriors that were killed during the invasion. For that, Quan Chi has been captured and punished several times, but he just seems to be able to get away with his crimes every single time. That until the Shirai Ryu led by Scorpion captured and decapitated him in one of the most brutal scenes in Mortal Kombat. Scorpion, we can <laughs> My name is Hanzo Hasashi! Number 3 Shinnok's Downfall <laughs> Ever since he was banished from his rank as an Elder God, Shinnok had only one single goal to be the sole ruler of Earthrealm. For that, Shinnok and his followers tirelessly work to locate Earthrealm's life force the Jinsei, which Shinnok eventually finds and uses to grow his powers and transform himself into a demonic creature with immense power and might. But despite his newfound power, the renegade Elder God would eventually be defeated and punished for all the havoc that he caused to Earthrealm. Shinnok was an Elder God, impossible to kill. There are fates worse than death. Number 2. Melina's Execution Finish me, that I may join my father. Soon after being dethroned by Kotal Khan and his followers, Melina begins a rebellion to reclaim the position as the Khanum of Outworld. Her plan involved a deal with Kano who sold her the amulet of Shinnok and helped her along with Rain, Tanya and the Tarkatan army to launch a sneak attack against Kotal Khan which was unsuccessful although she managed to escape. But that didn't last long because Devorah with the help of the special forces tracked Melina down and brought her to the Emperor himself who ordered Devorah to execute her in the most grotesque fashion. Number 1. The Pact of Ice and Fire I killed your brother because I thought he... Quan Chi is responsible for Bihan's death. Scorpion and Sub-Zero's alliance is beyond any doubt the most shocking moment in Mortal Kombat which not too many fans ever expected. After knowing the true mastermind behind the Shirai Ryu massacre, Scorpion and Sub-Zero decide to put all their differences aside and finally make peace after centuries of bloody wars that caused many casualties from both sides. But for a rivalry like this to end, it leaves many fans wondering about what comes next for both of them. Mainly because this rivalry is what defined the Mortal Kombat franchise and was a big part why the game has endured in popularity for so long. Did I miss out your favorite moment? Let us know in the comments section below. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Game Illusion.